We've got our blade shipment in from uh, Medieval Show. That's right. And uh, your old Tim got it out to us, so I'm happy with that. Uh, we already started taking straps off. This thing was packed up amazingly. I mean, he had so many straps around it. And I mean, I don't even tell this thing's heavy. I'm excited to see what's in here. Yeah, the mailman wouldn't even let, it wouldn't even carry it to the door. He made no, a brand no, go out. He and showed carry. up and, uh, yeah, had me go out and bring it in and all that. I'm glad I was out there. I don't think he would have brought it to the door and left it or anything. No, I don't think so. so anyway, yeah. I've already got this cut, so we can start getting in here and see what we can find. It's full of bubble wrap, because I guess it's to keep stuff from moving around. Uh, see what we got in here to start off with. I don't want to get cut or anything. Oh, what's this? Oh, I already know what that is. Oh, I felt like a piece of plastic fell. I guess it had a tip on it. It's another the, LaSalle, LaSalle partisan. partisan. Yes, and this one's a very important item. I had promised Chuck Murray over at Zombie Go Boom that would get him one so he could try it off on one of the tried on one of his island heads. So he could try it, try to see if he could get the same results we did. I don't know if y'all have seen the video, but when we test this LaSalle partisan head on one of our uh, Evar the Draugr heads, which are tougher than human heads, we went clean through the skull, which is a coconut, through the wooden joint and the PVC spine all the way straight. Splitting down. it right down the axis. Right, straight down the center. I mean, that's one of those shots, I hate to say it. Uh, one good. million. Yeah, but you're not going to get that every time, but it was beautiful. It was just straight. Perfect. We haven't yeah. been able to replicate it with other pole arms either. No, not yet. But he wanted to try it out, see if he had the same luck we did with it. It's a beautiful pole arm, and I'm going to sharpen it up for him. Hell yeah, so I can't chuck. wait to see. Can't wait to see what Zombie Go Boom does with that. Oh, definitely. I'm getting that out to Chuck Murray right away. Let's see what else we got. Uh, I'm going to wrap the stuff. Put these up cardboard out of the way here. Uh oh. It's a That's knightly sweet. dagger. It looks like a knightly dagger from uh, about maybe the 13th century. And that's extremely long. I'd say this purge is on the length of a short sword. And they did. At one time period, it was almost like an offhand. And it could be used with the sword to parry it with and so on. It has a quiz called a Quillian dagger. It has Quillians on it. And a lot of times it can match sets, but it's really, yeah. really nice. Uh, this is not sharp. So it's a reenactment? It could be used for reenactment, but the steel is real steel. So if you want to take the time to grind an edge on it, which I mean, a lot of people don't want to take the time to do that. But if you wanted to do it, you could make You could steel. have yourself a functional dagger. Yeah, this would be functional. It's good steel. Oh, yeah. Looks all like his blades bad. are, unless they say otherwise, they are all made of high quality. Uh, it blades. bends right back into place. I mean, that's great. Yeah, it's beautiful. I can't wait to do something with this. We could use it for some reenactment, maybe sharpen it up later and see what we can do with it. Hell yeah. I mean, heck, it's almost two feet long. It's almost the length of the arm. Yeah. Pretty man. amazing. Almost as long as a Naue 2 or something. Let's see what else we got in here. I'm very impressed with that. It's got to be more. It's got to be more. Got a little something. There it is. Ooh. Don't. No. Oh, yeah. I believe this is either his Viking or Norman axe. I'm not sure. He has a couple of different ones, but I can, can't tell. Well, let's take the bubble wrap yeah, off. Yeah, take it off. Good see. look. Man, I, I can tell you, man, it's got to be like a, a Viking style axe. Well, I know he has one he calls Norman and one Viking, but they're very similar. I mean, there's not a lot of difference. I'm thinking this is the Norman style axe, but I could be wrong. Man, man, that's nice. It's a beautiful blade. It's got an edge on it. And I like the design because I do personally prefer it where it comes up. It's a very hard wood. I don't know if it's like cherry wood or what does it look like to you? Maybe oh, it could be. It looks like cherry. But anyway, it's all the way up from the bottom, and it seems like it's on here stout, but that means it won't come off just from you using it. You yeah. can't come off because the head's bigger at the top. And we're not exactly sure how all the axes were put on the bike. It's just a very possible. Dude, that, you know, that's a sweet doing, looking especially axe. Especially for a shorter hand axe. Yeah, you need to put a longer handle. That's nice. That you is like sweet. It? Hell yeah, I like we're it. We're definitely going to test it out, but if you want to use it. Fuck yeah, man. That's sweet. I think Elgrim's got him a, a new. Favorite hand axe. That is a nice. See, I've got another one. Ooh, oh, Francesca. don't tell. Yeah, I knew it. Oh, I knew it when Francesca's. I saw it. Knew it when I saw it. You could tell by the hey, blade. Hey, I'm, if you're claiming that, I'm claiming this. I'm sorry. Have at it, brother. Uh, it's got the hammerhead on the back and everything. This is nice. Would you reminds, it reminds me of the one I saw tonight on the uh, Vikings. Believe it or not, they had a Francesco when they're sitting on the boat having a discussion, and it had the same shaped head. That's nice. It's that thing, I want to see that thing get thrown and and Oh, uh, yeah, and, yeah, and a lot of times, I know we got the piece here, but a lot of times it was totally rounded, and you had a sh S shape. But it gets, if you see, it gives an S shape to the whole thing. So a lot of times it will hit and rebound. And, and we'll test roll. that out. Yeah, yeah. You, you have to change handle a little bit. Yeah, well, hey, man. It's nice. It's still nice. I still want to try it out. The handle is beautiful. It's got on it. These, these are nice hardwood handles. That's beautiful. No stained. 
and it seems like they're stained or it's just a really dark wood, it's hard, extremely hard. And you actually yeah. can tell which way you're, you're holding it. Yeah, because I, I hate it's... reenactment axes that are totally round. You have a, a, a single bitted blade, and they're totally round and not all of them. At least these these are, have got. Yeah, you're going to know where your edge is at all times. You're not going to accidentally have a lot of these problems where it glances off. That's I love sweet. it. Francesca's beautiful and it came yeah, nice and warm and sharp. That's awesome. Let's I like that. Let's see what else we got down in here. Uh, there's something down in here. Something, something. What could it be? Oh, it feels what like another pole arm or something. Dude. Ooh. They a start, Celtic they spear. Yeah, you know that. And this is bronze or iron age. Of course, this is made of steel, so it's a lot better than that, but the design is exactly... I like that leaf shape. That's, right. that's cool. Usually the wood goes all the way down inside. To so we'd have to taper it down. And the idea is the reason you do that is that way it won't bend. Of course, this is steel. It probably won't either. It's made like those pole arms. This thing's like, like harder than nails. You know? Oh, yeah. It's ridiculous. I mean, you're not going to just damage it. That's that's and gonna, it's sharp, extremely sharp. That's gonna hit some. That's gonna hit some. Uh, yeah, and our gel spears. heads real hard. Oh yeah, sir. These are extremely. Gotta be, awesome. yeah, be careful with them. But they were extremely uh, heavy and broad heads. They caused nasty wounds, but they're also really heavy spears. I wonder if it would work good with that new slide technique or the gigging style. I think it'll be brutal. Right, especially they probably they didn't have uh, you know actual uh, butt spikes or butt caps. So yeah, so that would amazing. work for you. Probably do some nice cutting with it. I don't feel anything in here. If there's anything in there, I don't think I can reach it yet. Let's see what I got. And I can see a nice rounded pommel that looks a lot like the back of the dagger. Let's see what we got. Uh, trying to get a hold of it. I'm trying to get a hold of stuff. Oh, I it's see. It. I pull. see it. I, see. To pull. I think I'm pulling it out of a sheath or something. I'm about to get the sheath out separate. Ooh. That's sharp. Oh, dude. Uh, you can tell that just by... That is a long blade. That's almost... That's like a 13th or or 14th century arming sword. I'd say, yeah, it's about 14th century, and it's beautiful. I'm going by That'll the actual, go great with that dagger. I'm going by this disc uh, pommel and the width of the uh, quillions. Damn, which is looks It's smaller and fuller, but it's actually a really thin blade. It's beautiful. Looks like it'd be good for both cutting and thrusting. Oh man, look at the quality of that blade. Oh yeah, it's very, very nice. I've had something to cut it. Cut Sweet. some of it. I mean, you can tell right now that this is like, I'm just me touching it, Razor. trying to get it out by accident. Razor sharp. Razor sharp. You want to hang on to that? I'll yeah. see if I get the sheath out. Oh, That's going to be man. fun to test. We test those on. He wanted to test on the heads and any other medium we could think of that was Damn. period. So I'm figuring we'll make something like a body. Oh we'll yeah, our, I we'll like the Evar the Dragger heads and see what these things do. I'm assuming this is the sheath that's for us. it because that's what I pulled it out yeah, of. Yeah, that. That's got the nail on it for your baldric. Oh, and these are head. Man. This is not weak. Uh, a lot of the stuff you get, I mean, I'm not saying from him, but some of the shops, though, this is like a really weak uh, material. And that's just, thick. That's some really nice, thick work there on the yeah. hardwood, leather covered sheet. That's a beauty. I'm impressed. That's a really nice sword. I mean, Ooh, I have something else. What do you got? What do you got? Feels almost like a Brazil nut pummel. Ooh. I, I'm beginning to like this already. I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's unusual. I normally don't see a ball at the tip like that, but that's good protection. That's kind of neat. Let's see what the blade looks like. Dang, I like the way it's made. Ooh, Here's nice wide fuller. And I would say this is a late century Viking or a Norman type sword. Because you've got the uh, Brazil nut pommel. And it's actually really plain, like a war sword, not very decorative. Like well, place. let's let the. But I mean, it's like set up the... for like true combat. <laughs> that is beautiful. Uh, it's a little bit shorter than the other one. I wonder if it's as. as, as uh, I wonder if it's as. Uh, it's not much shorter. No, not by much. Maybe a couple by inches. about three right. inches. Or I'd say maybe two. Maybe. Yeah, about about two, three. Or three. two, two and a half, three, something like that. Yeah. Nice broad blade. This is what they've considered a broad sword. Nice wide fuller. Ooh, it's extremely sharp as well. It's like nasty. Oh, you can see it just, just nice I'm looking at it right now. I can tell you just by looking at it, it's super sharp. Yeah. That's that same quality steel Not as this one. Not the reenactment one. Oh, what's this thing? Oh, it's uh, something to protect it while it's shipping. Uh, my most this is a full uh, tang. You can see the tang by looking down in here. I can't. Hey, that. what? that's cool. We both got full tanks. Well, of man. course. Yeah, I don't think he sells anything. It's not, but I'm saying that's great. You can actually see it when you look down at the tolerance. Damn. Thing. I think I just got me a new sword. That's beautiful. I like this one. I, ooh, look at the tension on the detail right here on the sheath, the actual. Oh, record. damn. I'm kind of jealous. That's an awesome looking scabbard. Don't need to bang it into anything, but 
This is very nice. I love it. Oh man, I like this one. I can't wait to I test just got me a new blade. And he wanted us to do at least two drawer heads and get different angle cuts and stuff and test them out. And I promised yeah. him we would because he said he was going to send some swords. He didn't exactly tell us which swords. He had mentioned different ones, but yeah, we got the Norman sword, and I'm thinking that's the, uh, the uh, uh, what do you call it, 14th century. I think about 14th century is about like yeah. 13th something when they made it. Nice. It was it's kind of cool. almost a war sword. They were getting a little bit longer handle for uh, gauntlet. And get into that sort of plate era, right? Where you kind right, of you had rust a transitional more. period. Yeah. Right? They started yeah. wearing more pieces of plate armor, not just chain. And right. lots more chains. They weren't wearing chain, they were wearing. Oh, armor. man, this thing can cut and thrust with the best of them. That's I'm a still nice feeling blade. weight in this thing. I thought it. I guess, this, guys, we're going to have to dump this. Yeah, I don't Let's know, see. man. I have no other. I hear something. Woo! Oh! Dude, tell me if that's a chain shirt, I'm gonna flip out. Uh, too small. It's too small. Too I think small. It's coif. It's, it's a coif. Oh yeah, look at that. Let me check it out. Is it? Uh, no, it's not riveted. It's a body, but it looks like it's really high quality. I think that's 18 gauge. No, 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 it's 16. 16. It's 16 gauge. Yeah, that's 16. Uh, five 16 inch rings is what I'm saying. I, I used to make chain, and it looks just like my shirt. It's five 16 inch rings. Uh, 16 gauge. Nice. Which is not bad. The size rings, it will hold up pretty well. Yeah. We should test it out and see how well it is, how well it holds up. I mean, even for butted, it should do okay. I mean, not great, but it should do all right. Yeah, I think I should throw it on or what? Check it out, man. I'm curious. It has a nice weight to it. It's not very heavy. Hey. It is hey. steel. You know who you look like? Uh -huh. You look like, uh, remember Sword in the Stall, Sir K? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he looks like Sir K. All, all we need is a Norman Hell yeah. on over there. We get you a, a spanging uh, drumstick. Yeah, we have a spanging hell. Let me find you one, man. Well, I had sure one, one throw it on, here. but I don't. Oh, uh, you got you got yours or yeah. mine or one of them. It's one uh, of them. Oh, here we go. One of our bulletproof Jolmers. Nice spanging hell. I don't hey. know what you think. That's pretty slick. I'm having a good time tonight. This is like Christmas. I've had this. That we've right had there this, is had slicker. We had in since the other day, but we could not get a chance to open it. Fred, you look slicker than ball tires on wet everybody. pavement. What do you think, guys? Is it me? Oh, that's Thrand all the way. That looked good in high persona. It I claim good. Viking Age, but it was pretty much my ancestors that were fighting with Williams. But I just wanted yeah. to say that my ancestors, uh, the, the Godfrey's, or Godfrey, how you want to pronounce it, came over with William the Conqueror during oh, the yeah. Hastings, and they served him for a very long time, oh, until yeah. they later moved to Ireland. So, I mean, I do know that. So, one of my ancestors did use gear like this, more than likely. Oh, I'm sure mine did, too. Yeah, you were the Lemoniers, correct? You, uh, the the Lemoniers, uh, and they served as uh, William's uh, personal bodyguard. Very awesome. And they were later given uh, Devon as their uh, barony, and uh, they served as the sheriff of Pothridge and, and other uh, prestigious titles. Very, so, yeah. very awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much, Jarl Tim. Thank uh, you, Tim. That this, this stuff is excellent. I love I, it. I'm, I'm this loving is great. it already. And uh, I just want to say be sure to subscribe to us, That's like right. us, and you'll be able to see all the tests we do with this. We're going to use. Uh, at least two of our new uh, Evar the Draugr heads for each sword and blade, axe and everything. And That's we're going right. to find devise any other tests we can come up with armor and uh, bodies, you know, so on, whatever we can do yep. to see how well these things work and actually truly test them out. Oh, yeah. And don't forget to find us on Facebook, uh, Thrand and Elgrimmer's Well of Remembrance. Uh, and also, we have our uh, Thag and Thrand YouTube boat crew. It's a closed group. Just ask to join. We'll let you in. As long as you're cool with everybody, you can hang around and uh, contribute all you like. You get to see some. Uh, some footage and and uh, and still photos and things like yeah, that from us that no one for else. Thane. The old spelling for Thane, and it can be pronounced Thagen in Old Norse. So, yeah, be sure and look us up there, and we'll surely uh, allow you in as long as you're cool with everybody. And right. All the recruit gets along with you. And uh, also, uh, help us improve our content. Uh, you can make contributions or uh, donations at www.patreon.com slash thrand. Uh, the, the more donations we get, the more... Uh, Evar heads we can make. Oh, most certainly. And uh, of course, uh, we can up all of our production values. So uh, be sure to, to make your donations at Patreon for us. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And again, thank you, Jarl Tim. Yes, thanks again, Medieval Shop. And we're going to be more than happy to test all these fine arms and armor out. Hell yeah. Yeah. Farewell. Farewell.